All right, I want to just take a few minutes here and talk to you about client service. Um, you know, we are in the business of changing people's lives. You're in the business of changing people's lives also. You've got to understand that most people, even when they are making a change for the better, doesn't matter if you're representing someone in a criminal defense matter and they're improving their lives by protecting their freedom or in a divorce and they're improving their lives by getting themselves out of an unhappy relationship or in a litigation, whatever. You're in the business of improving people's lives. That's why people hire us. You got to understand that for most people, change is the scariest thing in the world. And you got to be prepared for the fact that people who are scared, who are going through change, subconsciously, this is not intellectual, this is not rational, this is not logical, this isn't a function of intelligence. Smart, educated, intelligent, otherwise emotionally well-adjusted adults who are facing the prospect of making a big change in their life, even when it's a change for the better, often will respond in very unpredictable, irrational, even ways that you think are crazy or stupid. Uh, we see this all the time with lawyers in our coaching program, for example, where someone will get in and all of a sudden the revenues double and all of a sudden they start finding all kinds of problems that they just start, start, start basically finding problems, right? Little things start really bothering them because what's happening is by doubling their revenue, for example, it's forcing, it's causing them to have to make a lot of changes in their life and that scares them. This isn't about me, this is about you. Be aware that when you're working with your clients, one of the things you can do is, number one, you can prepare them ahead of time by educating them as to what to expect. And this isn't a matter of managing their expectations on the case itself. Take your lawyer hat off. Put your, put your counselor hat on and take your lawyer hat off and, and understand that preparing them is preparing them for how they're going to feel about the changes that you're creating. Otherwise, you may find them working against you instead of working with you or even celebrating you for helping them to make positive changes in their lives. Um, the second thing you can do is don't take it personally. You know, you got to sort of treat it. This is going to sound like a like a negative analogy, but I don't mean any negative about it. It's sort of like when you're when you're with little kids and they throw a tantrum and you can't take that stuff personally. Um, don't say, oh, they're stupid. Don't say, oh, they're irrational. Just have empathy and understand where they're coming from and look for ways to help them deal with what those changes are doing to the rest of their lives. And don't think that your clients are immune from this just because they're smart or sophisticated or wealthy or, you know, oh, well, I don't deal with that because I only do corporate transaction work. Anytime you are making a major change, anytime a person is making a major change in their life, they are susceptible for their, for their subconscious to start messing with them. Um, no one's immune from that. All right, so just there's your tip for the day. Think about what you can do to anticipate and prepare your clients for the feelings they're going to have when your excellent services, when your great advice, when you're being a great lawyer leads to big changes in their lives. All right, we're almost at the dock. Bye.